what's going on guys um, from a request I'm gonna be showing you how to make a transparent background in Photoshop CS5 so we're gonna jump right into it just open up Photoshop just let it load alright so first off I'm just gonna jump right into it I'm gonna be opening up two different photos here first an Apple logo and then a Mac desktop screenshot. So let's say we want this Apple logo onto this background. So first what we're going to do is unlock these layers. You can do this by just dragging the lock down to the trash bin down here. That, what that does is just makes it a little bit more workable. Use the photo a little bit better. So now we want to get rid of this white background so we're going to go over here to the eraser tool now this won't usually it'll look just like this the eraser tool what we want is the magic eraser tool so just hold left click until the menu comes up and just let go on magic eraser tool okay now all we're going to do is just bring it over onto this white background and just left click alright so now the background's gone now we still have some shadow around this apple logo so we're going to zoom into about 200% and just get rid of as much of this as we can for now. Alright, so looks like we got about all of the shadow gone. So now what we're going to do is just zoom back out and we are going to just bring the desktop background out onto the interface real quick. And just go up here and grab your move tool, little arrow at the top. Just click on this and just drag this onto the background. Okay, now we're just going to take this and put it back on top in the bar. Now we're going to zoom in on this about 200%. And now that it's on here, you can see. Hang on, let me move it to a different spot so you can see it better. You can see that there's still some border left. So what you can do is just go back over here and switch to the regular eraser tool. You can just go along these edges very carefully and just take that white out. I'm just going to come back to you when I've finished taking the white out. Alright, so... I've finished taking most of the white out from along this edge of this picture. So now we're going to zoom back out. And, oh, I'm going to zoom out enough so we can see the whole thing. And now we want to we want to move this around. So go back up here to the move tool. Just click on the apple and move it wherever you want to. Now you can also resize this by putting your cursor over it. And clicking and holding control and press T. Now make sure when you resize this to hold shift if you don't hold shift this is what can happen it can distort it and make it so it's not nice and square like it was so to make it nice and square hold shift while you're moving it and so you can move it everywhere you want but it'll still make it nice and square how it is so let's say right about there looks good I'm just gonna move it to about right there um, that looks about good right there. Well, now we can just move it maybe about right in there. So yeah, that's how to make it a transparent background. You don't always have to put it in another picture. You can use it to make a logo or anything you want. I just uh, quickly showed you how you can take a picture and make the background transparent and then bring it onto another picture. So yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know. Um, you can message me, leave a comment, um, whatever you want to do. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, let me know if there's any other videos that you'd like me to make. So uh, thanks for watching.